Hey, our nation, Ken Rivera, our segment called Getting to Know You. And today we check in with linebacker, free safety, hitman, number six, Antoine Pruneau. Comment ça va? Très bien, très bien, toi même. Um, very <laughs> well, thank you. Let's first talk about your rivalry with Laval. You went to University of Montreal. Right. How tough has it been in that locker room with so many Laval guys? Do you get the cred you deserve? Um, you know what? You get you get used to it. Uh, obviously, uh, there's not as great as like the guys from Montreal, but uh, they're getting there. I mean, with my influence in the locker room, I think they get are be getting better in that department. No. <laughs> so you are the consummate leader then? Yeah, yeah, you got it. No, no, it's great. I think uh, we get along pretty good. I think we uh, we found out like through the years that. Uh, you can it was a real, it was a rivalry, but we're pretty much the same type of guy, man. We want to battle, we want to compete. That's yeah. why we choose Los University, so we could get good chemistry. You speak French. French is the language of love. Oui. Out of the guys in the team, who's the most romantic guy out there on your squad on the Red Blacks team? English, French, American, Canadian doesn't matter. You know what? And he hides it pretty good, yeah. but I got some intel from the inside. And okay. Arnaud Gascon Adon is really romantic. He's gonna bring his girl to some nice dinner, top dinner. With the ponytail. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Skinny you know. jeans. Absolutely, absolutely. He tried to do it on the low, but it, like the French mafia, we know, we know. There's Arnaud. nothing you can hide from your teammates. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> what guy? Because uh, the French community is known for their humor. Who can't take a joke? Anthony Gosling. Why? And, he just gets mad every time. I don't know if it's because he's from Sherbrooke or just... <laughs> it's back to the rivalry again. I, <laughs> no, it's just... I don't know what's up with him. He's, he's really funny. He loves to joke around with everybody yeah. when, when it gets to him. I think it's a question of pride, you know? Like those big pump guys, man. The Bench probably press just guys, like, Yeah, guys. exactly. It's too, he's got too much pride, especially when his girlfriend is around. So but, he can dish it <laughs> out, but he can't take it. Oh, no. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, Celine Dion or Mitsu? Celine Dion. Rock voisin or not rock voisin? Rock voisin. Of course. <laughs> ben oui, ben oui. <laughs> um, if you weren't playing football, what would you do for a living? What would you have become? Would you still be an athlete? Um, uh, of course, I'd like to be around sports, but yeah. inside of me, what yeah. I would have really wanted to do would be a, an artist. If I could have really? been on a stage and like play guitar or something like that, I think that's probably see, the most unbelievable see, I trip. I thought painter. But, uh, I thought you were talking painter oh, or drawing artist. But you want to be a rock star. Oh yeah, rock star for sure. But <clears throat> the thing is, I nearly don't have it in me, man. What kind of band? What kind of oh, rock would you be? A folk band? You know, you, know, you know what? I did so many like team stuff in my life. I might just as well go solo on this one. You're all by yourself? <laughs> yep. A lone wolf? Yeah, that's it. That's right. <laughs> Uh, your experience here in Ottawa, you're a first round pick, you've been here from day one. What has this been experience for you? Because not a lot of first year picks have been to the cup twice and won a cup and enjoyed the love fest that you have with your fan base, our nation. Yeah, uh, it's better than I expected for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the greatest thing to play here. Uh, I think that's a big reason I, I could have a long career is because yeah. I still have a lot of fun being on the field. And uh, when I come here to work, it doesn't seem like I'm I'm actually working. It's really still that kids game, yep. play football, good environment, good coaches, and when we play at TD Place, it's yeah. uh, it's unbelievable. Favorite pregame meal is? Um, gotta go with uh, just a uh, steak yeah. or uh, a tuski in French. Do you know a tuski? No, what is that? Everything that's in the fridge, you just put it in an omelet and like run with it. When man. I was growing <laughs> up, my pregame meal was barbat. Barbot? Mini catfish. Oh yeah? Petit catfish. <laughs> Barbot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> hey, whatever floats your boat. Antoine Pernod, number six, thank you. Thank you, appreciate been it. Getting to know you with number six, Antoine Pernod of your Red Blacks. See you. <laughs>